Previously on Sailing Cerebral. I'm never gonna look at stingrays the same. Grocery shopping on the reef, otherwise we're gonna starve. He had a projector screen built for the boat and projected a castaway on it. So today, uh, there's not a lot of wind. Our plan was to sail, do a little more sailing and maybe some sailing practice, but it's about two miles an hour on south. Uh, we're gonna head south, uh, and anchor, and then probably do another snorkel drift dive along some rocks. And then after that, we're gonna head back to Bimini and spend the night outside Bimini and probably resupply because for some inexplicable reason, we are low on hair ties. <laughs> so we're going to go get some more hair ties. Priorities. Any... <laughs> yeah. Not sure what happened there. The first problem is going to be unanchoring. We have spun 360 and we noticed the tree right next to our anchor line. And yesterday when we looked in, we were cleaning the boat, it was right on top of the tree. So if it stayed on top of the tree and we spun 360, we may be wrapped around now. Um, we'll probably try for the boat. Kind of get close to it, get over it, see what it looks like, see if it comes up, and if not, we'll have to go down there and fix it. So we're going to see if we can uh, pull it off it with the windlass. Other than that, we'll dive down and undo it. Stop. Yeah, the tree's coming up with it. Wow, it's triple wrapped. All right, yeah, we're going to have to go down, let, let it down. It's always something. So he's going to dive down and uh, see what he can do. Um, hopefully we can just kind of unwrap it, but we'll be here, either take pressure on or pull pressure off with the boat. Okay. But that's why we try to go in soft sand and, yeah. and make sure we see the anchor hit mm. so that we know where it is. We noticed that the chain was actually wrapped around the tree several times, which was amazing. I mean, the tree was super light, easy fix there. But again, gets to see the bottom, that perspective of the bow is pretty awesome. So once we release that, chain went up nice and smooth along with the anchor. Looks clear. Giggity. We are at Barren Rock. It's a little sandbar. We're gonna snorkel and see what we find. I think we're gonna try and find some fish again. We are getting ready to go spear fishing down yonder and getting some dinghy lessons so we can get there and back. Rock <laughs> wood! <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. snorkeling experience with some sharks. There were a couple moments that were pretty hectic, like they were kind of circling us and like two at a time, you know, like around us and it was it was quite intense. So so there was that. We're in their element now and we're playing in their living room. We're gonna see that kind of stuff, it's gonna happen, how you handle it, and then you learn, you handle it again the next time a little better is what learning and growing is all about. That was really scary. When they're looking at you, when they were and looking, they're like coming towards coming you. Towards you. No, no, no. Okay. Yeah. And then comes the other one too from up front. Yeah, we're like boat yes. man, and please then come get us. Yeah. <laughs> like, he was out for snacks. These are shark infested waters. Yeah. Okay, Captain yeah. knew. You didn't see me so going in. <laughs> <laughs> Deep the reason he didn't to snorkel in pairs. Yeah. There you go. Good yeah. Good. All right. Your team to... Way anchor! Oh, yeah. 
believe we're heading back to Bimini. You gotta pick up some more food. And when I say food, I mean taco supply. <laughs> pick up some, some more of that stuff. And then I don't know what we're doing after. It's going with the flow. One of our film crew caught a fish, so we're hoping that it might be dinner tonight. Did it get Pop away? Off. It's still there. It's still there. Oh, oh! We got a jumper. It is a barracuda. <laughs> Don't lose it. Okay. Perfect. Even better. Yeah. Now let's get rid of it. Okay. Jump him out. Get a picture of her. Yeah, that's my book. It's the camera thing in the bottom right. He's like ripping a hole through the Okay, okay, I'm gonna come back. No, no, no. Yeah, what happened? Let's make sure he's not on that. Okay, okay. I don't know how you get him back like that. Okay, stop moving. He's <laughs> not gonna cooperate with you. Cause he's gonna listen to that. Okay, let go, bud. Go. Bye. He ripped a hole in the net. Awesome. And that is the only thing that if you rip, it has less holes. Wow. That's some knowledge. <laughs> Thank you, I try. <laughs> so not dinner I then? think I'm funny, not dinner. Awesome. Hey, wait, you got a one. You got one on the other line. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, fish on. One of these little ones again. Oh, that's a king mackerel. Yep, that's a mackerel. Yeah. Uh, small king mackerel, I think. It's got to be at least 12 inches. And this one, I would say, is uh, 16. Won't be a lot of meat, but um, it's still edible. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sit on it now. I feel so bad, but he's gonna be yummy. Oh, it's Rigor Mortis. Rigor Mortis? I heard, a, I heard that song. Is that what it is? It's when you die and your bones like form into one position. This guy needs to foam roll. All right, this is the set, Captain handed down. Do you have to scale this? But I have not cleaned the fish myself. Now you said how you finish? Ooh, look at you. Fish tacos, baby! Okay, maybe bread it, flour it, deep fry it first, and then I'll do that. I'm making cauliflower with garlic and butter, and seasoning, and lemon. So, can't go wrong with that, right? Never cooked fish. I don't know who entrusted me to this, but it's gonna be interesting. Probably over seasoned, but that's okay. <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna feed um, six people, but this is a king mackerel. It will not feed six people. It will not feed six people. <laughs> but we'll all get to have a delicious bite. <laughs> Whatever this turns into. Come here! Go! You get it! Go away! Come here! Mother! Be careful. Be careful with it. Careful. It's very sharp. Yep. Yep. Hold it. Put it on. Put it on back there. Damn! No! Put it yes! Go! Put it down. Put it down. Yes! Don't stand there. Yes! <laughs> He just spared it off the back of the boat. I was like, no way this is going to work. And then bam, he does it. And it's this huge fish that we're going to eat. I was watching and he didn't even have this on. He just kind of did it like old school, right? Like a Hawaiian sling without the sling. Cast away. Yeah, <laughs> it works. It worked. Cast away. <laughs> From he was inspired by yeah. cast away. Drops his phone in the water and then catches a massive fish. I think it's a good trade off. 
It looks pretty good, right? If it, it's actually pretty good. Yeah. Not gonna lie. I impressed myself. You're gonna be okay you, you serving would, that. I would be proud to serve this. It's not the worst of what I've served before, so. <laughs> Are you watching me eat mm -hmm. again? <laughs> no, it's not creepy. It's really good. It's bone free. Bone free? That's what makes a good fish. Yeah. Yeah, actually. It's kind of nasty when you run into a bone. This is, this is living sustainably. It's not always comfortable. Sometimes we have to kill fish. Mostly Reuben. Us girls will stand here and let him work, let him be us. Wait, can, can I get like the rundown of how that oh, yeah. actually happened? Tell him the story. Tell her the story, Reuben. We were gonna use we were gonna use that as chumps. I started cutting it and started throwing some other slices, and that attracted this fish. Put the bait on the on the spear. On the spear, I put the bait on the spear, and then he kind of came close enough. He went straight for the bait and released. He turned, and that's when I got it. I'm I was not expecting this big boy. Okay, Ooh, this is really good. So we're on weekend, so the crew is still feeling each other out, uh, still getting to know each other. It's going to be a little more challenging with us moving forward on longer days and doing more, but I think they're going to be great. In my mind, it's a journey of self-discovery, so you got to take time for yourself. you got to find those quiet areas and reflect on what's going on, and we've got you know many more weeks to do it. Now we head much further east, we've got to cross this big shallow thing called Grand Bahama Bank. So it's a little bit tricky sailing because there's, you know, it's not more than 10, 12 feet of water, sometimes more like uh, five or four, and we don't want to hit anything. It's going to take uh, the whole day. It's about 13 hours, and then we head, head to the tongue of the ocean, which is this deep trough that comes into the middle of the Bahamas. Um, and then we'll find a, a shelter right after we hit the tongue. It's going to be a long day, uh, a long day of sailing. Uh, be good practice for them.